Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to look at three components of evolution. Evolution is a theory that tries to explain why we have so much variety of life here on Earth. Here is a definition. A change in the genetic composition of a population during successive generations as a result of natural selection acting on the genetic variation among individuals and the development of new species. Hmm, that's a little confusing. So let's first break it down into its three main components. And you can see these here. Okay, I'd like to go into each part and say a word or two about each one. First, a change in the genetic composition of a population. Each organism has a genotype or the genetic makeup. And that leads to its phenotype, which is its physical expression. When Charles Darwin traveled to the Galapagos Islands, he saw finches, and they had different types of phenotypes due to their different genotypes. Mainly, on each different island, he saw beaks that were different. Next, successive generations means one generation after another. If you look at this picture, you have the original parents, then generation F1, then generation F2. So those are successive generations. Next, natural selection. Natural selection states that some organisms are better suited for their environment than others. They have a better chance of surviving and passing this genotype to their offspring. For example, they may be on an island where a narrow, long beak may be superior to a flat beak. And finally, development of a new species. There are 13 species of finches found on the Galapagos Island. This is because on different islands, certain finches with their beak and the food supply were better suited for others. So here we go. Let's look at the components of evolution one more time. And if you'd like to learn out, find out more about this, check out this playlist here with other videos of evolution.